What's up everybody, I'm Tyler Bell, and today I'm gonna be updating and playing with the most ridiculous bottle opener you've ever seen. So about eight months ago, I made this over-engineered pneumatic bottle opener. And I charge it to about 140 PSI, but that means I need a compressor. And I wanna make this portable. I wanna be able to take it to events hang out with my friends and open bottles and shoot caps 30 feet in the air. So it is portable once it's charged with this air reservoir and it opens two or three bottles per charge, but I still need to carry a compressor with me. So I bought a cordless tire pump. This is rated for about 150 PSI, which is excellent. But the problem with this, it has a valve stem fitting on it. The other upgrade I wanna to do to this is change this dinky little bottle restrainer. It keeps the bottle from shooting up when the piston actuates. And the problem I have with it is I made it adjustable on all these different holes, but to change the height, I have to spread this open and pin it in the right hole and then bend it back to shape. For the new bottle retainer, I'm going to switch from 8th inch round bar to 3 16 round bar. If you want to see the original video of me building this, I'll have it linked in the description. All right, I just put this fitting on. I'm gonna test this for the very first time. Hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face. 50, 85, 110, 150 PS. Okay, it's, all, it's only rated for 150 PS. PSI, so uh, there's 154. I need to fix the trigger, it's sticking, but that works. Do a little soapy dihydrogen oxide. Make sure there's no leaks. That's fine. It leaks a little bit. It'll be, it'll be. Now one problem is this alone, because this valve is closed, I can pressurize this line and it'll just keep pumping past 150. I've hit 170 and it, it'll probably just blow up. In fact, it's bulging a little bit. So uh, I'll, I'll figure it out later. I have this fitting just loose enough to where it leaks at a controlled rate. In case I do overpressurize it, it'll quickly relieve the pressure. Yeehaw! All right, this is my first time firing this thing off since all the upgrades. Okay, the 140 PSI. That's what I used to run it off my pancake compressor at. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, that was violent.
Hot diggity. This thing is so ridiculous. It's actually kind of scary. If you like this video, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. If you wanna see more ridiculous machines like this one that I've made, you can watch this playlist right here. See you on the next one.